Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and hopefully this time in this episode Mike's actually working properly and it is so far so just I'll check before I start recording so anyways we're continuing in November as we left off in the last episode Combine's on its way we just emptied the trade the combine again into the trader 20,000 litres of soybeans so far so the plan for this episode is obviously get this finish off, worker do do that. We do off whatever ends the worker leaves. But the aim of today is just get everything done, bells wrapped up in that, but let's go and buy ourselves a new trader. Or used trader technically, but used. But new but used. New to us. Yeah, that makes sense, so because yeah we could do with a second trader but the main thing is this baby the Komatsu 951 oh 183 grand that is our I think that's our biggest expenditure yet how much yeah because the fence was second hand this was 96 grand plus the header which even then wasn't too much but Freaking hell, I am going to like this. And actually, can't get that hooked up. Ah, no, we can't. But one thing we do need. The one thing we do need is a tree planter, so... Was there one part of the plant DLC? Yes, there was, but it requires the Volvos. So we're not going to quite go for that. So we'll go for the Damcon. And I'm pretty sure this works with obviously tree samplings, 20. But I'm pretty sure that works with. Is it under pallets? No, yeah, what well is? Da, 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 da. Where is it all? Down here? No, it's poplar, sugar cane. Nope. So, oh, so many pallet mods I've got installed. Oh, what's that? Nope, not that one. There we go. Pallets off sapling, so. Three and a half grand for some sp sprucey boys. I would not mind that at all. So I'm going to get you. Come to the shop. <coughs> Why you say it's too far? I should fill this up. Almost out of diesel in this tank, but. Our main diesel is down at the farmyard, so how about now? If I do this, gonna work? Yeah, you will. Okay, combine's just turn around. But yeah, this is gonna make our life so much easier. You will not believe it. Obviously, the uh, 12 miles hour is going to be a bit of a trick, so let's jump cut to where it's just back at the farm. And there we go, a long time later, man, 12 miles an hour is so. So, what we'll do is 6 meters, turn on harvester, and because it's the platinum DLC. Oh, you can see that? It's got the inch. was it? The markers set, so then we can go down manually ourselves. And then, just turn the tree around. Turn that off. And just go cut six meters. And look at that. Also, yeah, as we learned, we're not going to get much money or much leverage from these logs here. 
They're small, they're thin. But you know what? I'm not fuss. So bring that over. And yet yeah, all this practice on Silver and Forest has definitely come into hand. Yeah, I don't think there's many big trees left actually. Looking at it. Just all the little twigs and that. But yeah, this will be. Oh no. Do we extend the field even further? Because we can get another plot of land at some point, let's say 47. Or if you wanted just pure forestry, go for 50. But 50 is pretty sloopy, right? Yeah, just look at that. That is definitely a sloop and a half. And it curves back down before hitting the boundary over there. So it's not the most ideal. And then again, this also give us access to this force. Where again, soaps down, so... Unless we do like, just level this out here, but... I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll get the new plot of land and then clear all those off. And then just go from there, I think, in terms of replant the forest. Or do we just replant it here? It's going to take about two years or so to grow. And what are we, into year two? Yeah, we're in year two, about heading to year three. So why not? Aussie, these small logs, is it really worth the time? Not really, but it makes space now. And we do need space at the end of the day. There we go, that's you demolished. And yeah, we'll get all this tidy up into a pile. But is there any big boys? Yup. Yeah, the auto align is not the most useful, as always, or the most helpful. I have to give it some assistance from time to time. There we go, reverse, tilt it back. Bring it close. But yeah, in terms of logs now, what we could do potentially is store these. Ah, wait a minute. I've got a big brain idea. How much do they cost again? Forty-four. Yeah, forty-four thousand liters. On oh, no, the twelve-foot ones, so six liters. Twenty-one thousand liters. Could we one Aussie we can put logs in here six meter lengths or whatever but could we store logs in here and then lift the container up put it into the fill mark on the sawmills I wonder let's give it a go actually so, we want you and you. I wonder. Is the deck? Because, oh, nah, that involves putting these down, which I do not know how to. These only came up. You know what? So I was going to do a cheeky reset everything. Just reset those two. Whatever. This I'll drive up. And let's see if this works. If this works, we are laughing. 
here we are at the shop, so... But yeah, because if we saw logs in here... Yes, it costs three grand. But it depends on how much tree we can get for, for it. Lift up, no issue. You have no England to all snap because that ain't part of the plant DLC trailers. But still, it's a little test, a little cheeky test. I think in the long run, we'll just get a logging trailer or something. Or just get some pieces of wood or rock and just wedge the logs in there in between. Stops it from rolling about and then just store logs, but. For the time being, I am genuinely curious. Cause that, yeah, that'll strap down. Nah, I was just testing something there. So if we get that on, this could be a very good idea. Or a very bad idea at the same time. You just don't know which one's which yet. Lift that up. Tuck you in. And let's see what happens. So we've got some logs here. Loaded up. Unstrap these. Unstrap most of those. Unload that. Engine off. Engine on. So if we come out of here, I'll shoot. Quickly strap this back up. Isn't there a way to open? It's not L1 or R1 or anything. Huh? What about if we do this? Get those unstrapped. Best because it's on the trailer and that it's causing issues. Yeah, see, it's not too heavy. Or well, it probably is heavy, but we've got the ability to lift it. Just about. So we've done that container there. new or something so forget these these are all perfect six meter logs so shouldn't have no messages of saying not the compa compatible whatever word and effect surprise yada 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 there we go Boom. And it's barely full. So let's grab that again. These last little bits. Could these be used as a, you know, a way of transporting logs? Because we load the logs in here, put them onto the trailer, and then sell it or send it to where it needs to go. Obviously, this could do multiple containers, and oh no, that's not good. Houston, we've got a problem here. Ah, oh, bugger, I didn't think it's through. Oh, if only had a wheel dude or something. How heavy is that? 
5.2 tonnes, so... I have to literally do this to get even half on. Alright, okay, that's sat end on. N note self, next time, open the container, then put it onto the trailer. <laughs> Uh, this is you know, supposed to be easy work compared to, I don't know, just putting the logs on the damn trailer, but... Oh well, live and let live and all that good stuff. Or however it goes. But anyway, it's a little quick test. In theory, it should work. It's just a silo almost for timber. So I wonder. Or, yeah, I'm generally wondering. Never tried it before. Never think I had seen a purpose for it, but. Well, here we are. So if we, say, go to here, bump you out of the way. Turn on the not auto saved. Does that work? No, it does not. So the only way to get rid of that container is if we sell wood. Bit of a bummer because that's right in the trigger point. How about now. Ah, rats. Oh well. Let's get this load up. And then, what was that flickering? Oh well. But yeah, we'll get the rest of this filled up. And then we might as well just sell. And then make a quick buck to get us over until the slide is ready. Even though we've got plenty of money coming in with the greenhouses, etc. etc. But I don't want a container about. And. Why sell a 90% full container when you can sell a 100% full container? So yep, I will go and get this done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Is the timber load up and we've got a decent stock on the back and I think depends on how the sawmills it at the moment that's okay I could do more timber at some point but that is what 1200 oh, didn't see that but yeah what's that 
1200 it's using a month so still about six months left five or six months so we're gonna cut more trees down before then and we'll buy this plot and uh, these trees will be used as primarily fuel up sawmill and the forest will go over there behind our farmhouse in that so but yeah do the experiment and see if that container can be used as a storage store wood and then not sell it but uh, you know put into sawmills but can't oh well it is what it is tried and um, you know and now it doesn't work I didn't think it would but you never know So prices for wood at the moment. Best place is the farm shop. No worries. Hopefully it should accept the container, right? Well I'm hoping it does. Okay, it does not. Well, for those logs, it was eleven thousand pounds we got. For that it's not selling. Nope. Oh come on! Let's hope for you sell at sell everything point. So I think it was updated to support the platinum DLC. So. Oh, thank God. 30 grand. That is nice. And obviously, 3 grand or so of that was from the container itself, so. Overall, I'm happy. No complaints. And uh, whilst we're here. Get this loaded up and take this back. Ozzy will hit this, hitch this to the front, but this does not have a front three point hydraulic. And we've got our 120 saplings loaded up. So, again, just back up. There we go. And Bob's your uncle. And now to grab the trailer. Uh, can we get all this on or not? That's going to be the question. Tractor, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I didn't think he had a three point hydraulic. Apparently it does, or something. I have absolutely no idea. Let's wheel this back and see how it goes. Goes right. So, yep, let's head back to the farm. We'll oh, do Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Let's flick that ass in out. There we go. It'd be just easier just to, I don't know, grab you. Nope. And just do it this way. I didn't think it was hook, I didn't think it had a three point hydraulic. Didn't have the option in store. That is literally attached to nothing. I'm not complaining, I'm just making an observation. <laughs> yeah, as I said, not complaining at all. And so we've got £69,000. Nice. So I think with. Can we flatten out? that land over there. 
or how much it's going to cost us. Of course, well, we've got two mulches fields on our left, our mega, well, not mega fields, our second biggest fields. So let's go to landscaping. Uh, I guarantee we're going to have issues with the stumps. I can bet you any money on that. Try softening terrain, but overall, it's very touching. But I was even need to get the plow out to plow this up to get this all nice and straight. That's uh, so a new job for the fence. So we'll get the fence working on that. It ain't gonna take too long. Get this field mulched and we can plant grass today, I think, if we wanted to. Again, that's if we wanted to. We can, but it won't grow until March, so because I'm thinking what should we do next? I'm tempted to do like the sugar beets, sugar cane, or something like that. To get sugar, perhaps. Potato is a good option for us. So is corn, do a bit of maize, oats. Yeah, I've already got plenty of oats. So, we're going to need money for the planter, regardless of what, what we go with in the end of the day and actually but that's the thing with the planter it's a hundred in let's, let's again let's remind ourselves for what the uh, one millionth time a hundred and forty grand it's the cedar and that'd be a love to have because I can do sugar cane eight meters at eleven miles an hour this does 18.5 meters or 80.2 at 9 miles an hour. And it could do the normal crop, so it could do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, Aussie radish, and grass. Yeah, just double checking, same as the other base game stuff. Do we go with a manure spreader as our fertilizer? I am tempted. But here's the thing, with the with the soybeans, they'll be ready to sell in what May? April May time. So yeah, May we'll get 150 gram for that. Oats they're not at their best price yet, that'll be next month. So I think the best thing to do is just sit and wait. The oats, oh, I don't know. It's tempted to hold on to it because we need grain for chicken. So yeah, that's what I think we'll do. Hold on to the oats. Really, what we could do with is I don't know. Because how much is the potato technology actually? Potatoes or beets? technology get the harvester for that X amount of money planters are an issue but it's all about harvesting so that this policy where a harvester collects potatoes from the ground says this harvester collects potatoes from the ground I'll automatically offload them onto so I mean, this harvester extracts potatoes on the ground and automatically offloads them from potatoes into in rows I don't know. That's the thing, it's a bit complicated. 
That'd be a very good hard and topper. That's why I did saw that mod. But the beats, you can use these two to score one and two. Yes, there is the Hue Super, but that's more for multiplayer or follow me mod on PC. It's no real use for that on console, so meh. So yeah, we need those two. Or there's that. So what's the capacity? Six thousand. So that doesn't. All it does is picks picks sugar beets up and dumps them on the ground. We've got a wind rower, wind rower, and that can wind row. Yeah, wind row potatoes together. I don't see an issue in that. But regardless, so we'll get the combine over here. That is desperate for fuel. So we'll go over here and top it up before we run out, because I do not want to run out. But that tree harvester, that is a real gem for us, that is. And surprising how quickly one it cleared up all space. It wasn't that many trees, I don't think. And this could be a, such a good field. It's not really worker frenzy, but not everything has to be worker friendly or support workers. And that is us off the fuel. So I'm thinking, what truck? We'll use a case for the mowing. Case for the mowing, John Deere to mulch, fence to plow. And then I think we'll end the episode off with planting some trees. Because they're going to take about two years to grow in that, so... Put the times like the times two for now, why not? But yeah, these greenhouses are going to make us a lot of money. The greenhouses production chain, it all comes together in the end of it. So I'll pop you away. Actually, wait a minute. I want to test that John Deere there, so. Not you, that one. Because I swear. Uh, I think if it has a invisible three point linkage, I am not complaining. On, detach. Oh, I'm stupid. It does have a f front three point link hitch, a hidden one. Man, that could have been so useful earlier on Series 5. Knew that. Because when we was like debating between selling the case or getting another, get the John Deere we got in the end, could have just gone for this. That sucks, but oh well, lesson learnt. Do your research on the mods before. <laughs> yeah, do some your mod research. But also think about it. We can again do a lot of mowing. We can really do it. If Wait a minute, I've got an idea. What's that? It's, oh, I don't see that wind row is a three point linkage. I guarantee it is, ain't it? Yep. Ah, oh, rats. What, what was that pack? The ultimate bathing pack. Yeah, so if we go to our mods, go to the end. The ultimate mowing and wind row pack. So we could potentially go with that, go for a nice moan setup, have a rear hitch, like I can go to a baiter or I can go to wind rowers or teds, tethers and that. That's got a rear hitch and a three point linkage. Ooh, now, so that is 
76 grand for that and requires quite a bit of horsepower. Let's say 340, 330. So that means it's going to require the fence. How much do our mowers Aussie cost us? So mowers, so they cost that. Header. Ooh, that is tempting. You know what? Let's try it. We got a bit of money spare. Yeah, I know we again I say we need a planter and that, but when you're looking at this stuff, you can't help it. And now where we got the greenhouses on production again. We was making twenty five grand a day at forty percent, so fifty grand a day. A hundred grand by this time in January. We're not planting until March, so one, two, three months, 150 grand air. So we will able to afford the what's it? Oh theme of Bob, yeah. Oh no. I'm gonna i I'm gonna cheat. I am gonna reset that wind rower. <laughs> Or if I can get away with it without sending a windbrow actually, because that windbrow is still useful for things like destroying that. Oh. That's the thing, this is, this is what gets me out every day, this is what keeps on me go uh 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 all the time. It's like, I look at one thing, I'm like, we can deal with that, we can really use that, but. But as well with the money situation, getting lots of money from the planks and that, and actually I want to really look at the plank situation with money because, yeah, I was watching Daggerwind's um, Let's Plays today on the Survival Challenge multiplayer, and he was getting £4,000 per thousand litres, or like £3,900 per thousand litres on average when he sold them. Because if you look at our planks, What's it? Oh, the 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 prices. Thanks. Duh, where is it to? A bit further down. Twenty five hundred. Yeah, it's not an issue. I I they everyone's down to what they want. Or how they want to play it. Go to prices. Three thousand nine hundred. And yeah, they're in May, so they're in May. We're in November, so so really, yeah, yeah. Let's say I'm fun. I'm not fun series as direct, so I'm not complaining or anything. But oh, each to their own. As I said before, it's down to how people would play it. And actually, on normal, I think we're because we've got so much productions going. It is a steady flow. And why does our service everything not sell anything? Because you got to think about it. Like the economy settings. We're not doing this on hard, just for the simple fact because of it. The economy is a lot harder compared to 19. When I did this survival challenge in 19. We was getting about the same amount of money we are now, I, f I would say. Look at, if I had to look back on my videos, I'd definitely see that. But, oh well. So, mowers. Oh, do I want that? Oh, you know what? Heck it. Go for the Converdant or Viking. Doesn't matter anything. Nope. Rear hitch and a three point link hitch. Is that what's going to cost us to change? Uh, you know what? I know this is going to hurt us, but. Man. Oof. Tatra Green. 
metallic. So that is nice. But we'll go with John Deere Green. John Deere Yellow. And John Deere Green on the chassis. And again, we'll go with John Deere Green and skirts that could be yellow. And now the wind rower. Oh, just enough. Frame color. No, not that. Rims. That's got to be John Deere yellow, I think. Yep, John Deere yellow. I know it's, it's the fence we're going to be using, not the John Deere. Oh well, here's what it is. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to cheat it back up. Because, hmm, actually, oh, please say this works. Uh, what's it? Where are you two? Reset the beater. Reset the fence. Now, I want to see what works on this. So yeah, so that's got a rear three-point linkage. That's got butt kiss, of, as we know. So, what we have to do is go here. Like so. Like so. And, but man, actually, will we have to do enough horsepower? Oh, come on. I want to use a quick bell, please let me use it. Let's just deconnect that. Dis not deconnect. Deconnect. Disconnect that. Oh, please, let me use my favourite beater, please. Don't do this to me, game. Oh, no. That swear on. Oh, no. I think it's got the three point linkage. Ah, it's the pin system. Wait a minute, I can save this, I think. Depends on the configurations. Let's give this a go, actually. Customize. Yes. Extra 500 pounds, I do not care. Yeah, fair as I should pay attention to the three point link hitch. The only thing that's wrong with this now is that we're having to use a Fent, not a John Deere, but. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't care. Fent, John Deere is green. I see that, and I expect that's going to annoy everyone. Or at least some people watching. Yes, baby, yes, that's what I like to see. And I just realised we mess up on such additiveness on this but so now disconnect that reconnect you connect you and connect you oh baby that is looking nice so Okay, now we need to do the quick math off the horsepower. 
own items. Baylor, 100 horsepower. 180. That is what? 260. Oh no. 500 horsepower. Oh. 500 horsepower we need. That's only 396. Wait a minute. Did this come with the option to be 500 horsepower? I think it did. It may not be over yet, folks. There's still a chance. Good thing is, yes, get the horse parish. Downside, 38 grand. Oh, you know what? Uh, okay, we're going to leave this here for now. We'll do the bait in the next episode. And all the grass work, because the best time to sell is February. And we can still cut the grass all year round. But we do need to get this field work done, so... Whilst I'm thinking about that, let's just do a little time lapse off, get everything done. Get the fields mulch, start doing the tree planting, I think. And then that's where we end the day, I think. <laughs> So, you know what? I'm just gonna sell those along with 2,000 litres of planks, 864 litres of maple syrup, and 2,000 litres of mushrooms and flowers. This is gonna be enough for what we need because we need at least one more pallet, but I'm gonna go for two pallets of the tree saplings. Oh, man, that's gonna be a very dense forest because of all the trees we've cut down. We've cut 
219 and we've already planted 120 so yeah I think, I think we're gonna be alright here yes I know maple syrup being accepted there that's 21 grand Unstrap this. Unstrap you, unstrap you, and unstrap you. And if here we there we go, Let's just rock off. So now this should sell. You yeah, know we have some flowers and that about and uh, oh, this is getting very clustered here at the shop. Sure, if you got the way. We know the maple syrup goes into to sell everything sell point or the maple syrup sell point, so I'm not worried on that. So, bugger. Hey, if we could get enough money for the fence upgrade, 30, 40 grand, so hopefully. <laughs> oh, bloody flower pot. Sell it. I don't think it's going to. Soon. And it's like doing an Austin Power multiple point turn. Ah, come on. What? John Deere, come here, boy. You're going to help us. Let's do the things we know will sell first of all. So grab you. Grab you. And we'll grab... I'll try to grab this. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, stop. Sick of, you're, not, you're not on the trader. Okay, let's put it down on the ground. Oh, you what? Maple syrup is accepted there. That's four thousand pounds. That's another eleven hundred. Now the seeds. Trader, let's just reset you. It just saves a lot of hassle, it does. I don't want to see if we can sell these seeds or not. There we go. Now we fit that over. How we sell the seeds? Answer to that is a big fat no. Alright, what about the farm shop? It did say it would accept the seeds. I know it didn't, it was the lime, I think it was, but. Except selling off seeds, but I guess not. Nope. Alright, okay, that's fine. We knew that. Line. I'm pretty sure it said the farm shop lets you sell them. We'll try to sell everything container first of all. Alright, ah. I have to lift it. Let's try over here because I think this was a better price over here. But it's not in the 
sell. I don't know what fighting. Let's just stick to this. <laughs> Let's get rid of the line. I'm making money back anyways from it, so... And it's not intentional or anything. But yeah, this makes sense to accept line because obviously you would sell everything to Tina. You get the like, Stone Crusher line production, so you can sell line. So can we do this? Yes, we can, but not that. No. No, we'll grab the other line. Okay, what about if we do this? The band's on top. Hey, there we go. But see, let's try lifting and see, see if that helps. There we go. Eee, so that's three or four grand we're on. Let's try those darn seeds. Nope, absolutely nothing. Unless it has to be in the trailer. Let's go and check. Yes, we can. Just have to put it into a trailer, so. Well, you know what? I'm glad. Just get rid of them. And that is an extra £9,000. So I think we just have enough for everything we need. So let's do the fence first. So, worst case scenario, we only buy one. If you use market, nope. Of course, buy just one more pallet. So customize ten thirty no no ten fifty and oh we can go with twins uh, we don't have to wait for that yet so ooh, uh, we're about five hundred pounds short but actually our tether. That is 17 grand. And how much was the tether for the. 7 grand? Oh, yeah, it is. The only downside is to working with. That is a big downside. You know what? We're not going to do that. 4.4 meters. You know what? We'll scrap it. Scrap that idea, so we just have enough. Go to tree saplings, so we can buy 180 for that or 180 for 55. Yep, do that. I'll buy you. So we should, in theory that should be enough actually, I think about it. There we go, speaking of John Deere. But yeah, this shop is very clustered, so I'm going to have to remedy that. And we will. But now, we've got enough horsepower. So, let's go like so. There we go, <laughs> lifting up these trees. Oop, boink. Sorry about that, we have a stiff throat there. Bit of a froggy throat. So, yeah, that is where we're going to leave it. Things are looking good for us. We've got enough horsepower tractor to do. Ah, uh, yeah, oh no, no. Now I've seen something. That but about the bathing situation, but nope. Now we've got a mow setup that could literally mow, wind rope, bell, and wrap all in one. Got a big enough tractor for it, so yes, I am really happy on that. 
Just with what we're going to do in the next episode is literally mowing. I think that's going to be the main point in the next episode is just get all the mowing done. And I'm trying to think what else. Finish this field off. I'm pretty sure most of it's done. Okay, most, okay the little strip of mulching he's doing. That's not an issue. Um, fertilizing. Okay, here and a bit over there. You know what? We can work on that. Again, not an issue for us. Uh, stones. How bad are the stones? We do have some red rocks where we've gone into the field, so maybe worth going over a stone picker on that. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, we're going to do sugar beets. So, 144 grand for the cedar or we'll plant her. We're going to get that by the time spring comes. Because if we have a look. Actually, yeah, let's look in vehicle. So, one thing we're hoping is we can get something like these in the used market. Ideally, one of these two. I'm not too fussed on either way. But, worst case scenario, yeah, let's say worst case scenario, we can't spend 150 grand or whatever on a harvester. That's the minimum we're looking at. Even at a discounted price. We can go with the trailed option, which is, I'll find it again, beat technology, get these two for 34 grand, 35 grand. It will need picking up from the ground, but I do have a very helpful mod in, installed. Which one is it? Nope, none of those. Oh, where would be under two? Belt system? Yeah. The Lizard Forest pickup. Bit expensive, has 65 grand. But I think it would be worth it. Yeah. Because that could actually pick up anything from the ground, so. He can use that potentially pick up grass and that and chuck it into a trailer. So all in all, about a hundred grand in for that, so yeah, we're going to have enough money for everything, money's not going to be an issue for us, so, but anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider, but for you to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.